Hello, this is Constitutional Conversations with Everett. Today we're going to be doing Article 1, Part 4, the last part of Article 1, finally. Um, so this will be Sections 9 and 10. Um, so Section 9 starts off, Congress cannot prohibit immigration prior to 1808, although they can put a tax on it, on it of no more than $10. So, as they were, you know, beginning to be a new country, they wanted to make sure that they had people immigrate there, but they didn't want too many people. So, until 1808, which I believe would be 20 years later, um, they were going to have 20 years of free immigration, and then they could start regulating. Um, but they could tax $10 to immigrate to America. So just kind of interesting. Um, writs of habeas corpus in court may be suspended in times of rebellion, invasion, or uh, if there are reasons for public safety. So uh, writs of habeas corpus is basically challenging your sentence in court, uh, challenging saying that you've been unjustly imprisoned um, and that you should be released, and so you can obtain that and then give it to a judge, and the judge can order your jailer to take you to court. Um, but that can be suspended, like it says, in times of rebellion, invasion, or for reasons of public safety. Um, Congress cannot uh, Congress cannot make laws uh, that would have a punishment without a trial. So they can't make a law like a speeding ticket and then say, if you get a speeding ticket, you get punished without a trial. Congress can't make any laws like that. They can't, they, Congress cannot tax interstate commerce. Um, Congress can't make laws that prefer one state over another um, if the law concerns trade, commerce, and regulation. Congress can't take money from the Treasury unless it's in the budget. Uh, well, they can't make laws that take money out of the Treasury unless uh, it's in the budget that was passed by the House and the Senate. Um, and the budget must be, well, they have to make a budget, basically. And then the budget also has to be released to the public for the public to see. Uh, there are no titles of royalty, so no kings or queens or princes or anything like that. Um, no titles like that can be made by Congress. And government officials cannot accept presents, offices, or titles from foreign governments without congressional approval. So that was Section 9, what Congress can't do uh, explicitly. Section 10 is what the states can't do. Um, states cannot enter treaties or alliances, attack and capture enemy ships, make money. Uh, they can only make gold and silver to pay debts. Uh, they can't punish with can't make laws that would punish people without trials, they can't interfere with private contracts, and they can't, uh, and they also cannot grant titles of royalty. States, without congressional approval, they can't tax imports or exports, except when they are doing it so that they can execute inspection laws. Um, the taxes that they get from this go to the U.S. Treasury, and the Congress controls all of these laws, um, inspection laws. Um, and states cannot, cannot, without congressional approval, uh, lay a duty of tonnage, which basically means you have to pay a tax so that you can do business in a port, or you can have a ship enter a port, or leave a port, or stay in a port. Um, states can't do that. Uh, well, they can't tax that. Um, they cannot keep troops or warships in times of peace. They can't enter into compacts with other states or foreign powers. They can't engage in war unless there's an invasion or invasion is so imminent that it's necessary to attack. Um, so this section nine, like I said, what Congress can't do, section 10, what the states can't do, um, shorter than all the other sections. Um, Pretty simple, um, but definitely the founders were very smart. So we've now finished Article 1, 
Uh, we've learned what Congress can and can't do, and even at the end a little bit of what the states can and can't do. Uh, now, in the next video, we'll be moving on to Section 2. Uh, this has been Constitutional Conversations with Everett. Please like and subscribe.